G'day guys, it's Michael here from Tech and Tactical and today we are going to be swapping my Ryzen 5 2600 standard cooler, which just isn't cutting the mustard, with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED Turbo. So, let's get into it. All right, just a little bit of a temp test for a bit of comparison for when I swap it out. At the moment, we're running the stock AMD Wraith cooler. And if I flick over to my other screen, you can see here, uh, I have been playing some video games, I'm just dropping the temp at the moment, but running at idle was sitting around about that 45 degree mark. Um, and when I did a, uh, a test for, on Cinebench, it got up to like 90 degrees. So we'll just quickly run, or we'll quickly open Cinebench. Where the hell are you? Uh, over here. And we will flick back to the main screen. If it opens, are you going to open? Yep. Taking a bit of time here. Now, going back here, have a look over here. We are currently sitting around 61 degrees. So I'll flick across to the other screen, main screen, and we will run the test. And that's finally going. And while that's running, we are already up to 80 degrees, 85. It got it gives you gets to around that sort of low to mid 90s at the moment, which is not cool, not cool at all, literally. Excuse my no pun intended. Well, maybe there is. So we'll look around 90 degrees. This is not good. This is not. This is not cool. Literally, not cool. <laughs> um, I'll just let it finish its run, and then I'll jump into some Grand Theft Auto and see what that sort of runs at, likes to run at. Now just for your information, we I am running Ryzen 5 2600, 3.9 gigahertz overclock on the core for um, all six cores. I am running uh, HyperX Fury DDR4 RAM at 3200 megahertz, AX370 motherboard, um, main CPU V core set at 1.35 volts. So it doesn't really like this. So we're getting up around that 100 degree mark. So it's not. Not cool. Not cool at all. So it'll be interesting to see what the big difference is. So like I said, we're running around 45, 46, 47 degrees or something it was um, sort of idling this morning. And test is nearly finished, which is uh, not good. So uh, test has finished. Just so you know. Across the other screen. Test is finished. What do we get? What do I get? 2,424. Interesting. Okay. Flicking back. We'll put this a bit up higher. Actually, this doesn't make this big. There we go. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, so we got up to 100 degrees in that test, which it's not, that's not cool. That's not stable at all. So we're coming back down again. I will shut down Cinebench and I will, we will jump into some Grand Theft Auto um, and we'll run this for a bit first of all we need to find a decent damn car because this car sucks where am I? by the way 
don't drive on the wrong side of the road. Although I do live in Australia and we drive on the left side. Oh, get out of my way. Alright, let's find a car here. This will do. We'll just cruise around for a bit in this. Oh, wrong side of the road. And oops, I cannot drive. I suck. Ah, oh, damn it. Nice. So it seems to be sort of running... I probably should put the stuff on the screen. Eh, can't be bothered. So it's sort of running about that 74 degree mark. Running the running games. Which is a little bit on the high side. Oops, sorry, my bad. I have completely ruined my Mustang. So I've been running this for, uh, I was running this for a bit, and I was getting the same sort of values. Um, oh, Jesus, I suck at driving this. Nice. Man, not very good. Anyway. Anyway, off of this. As you can see here, 60, we're running around 74 degrees. Um, while I was running the, running the game. And you see it pops straight up to 70 degrees again. So... So for temperature comparison, I think this will be fine. And it'll be interesting to see what the Cooler Master Hyper 212 is capable of. So we're sitting around that sort of 70 to mid, you know, late 60s, high 60s, I should say, to, uh, to um, sort of low 70s mark. You know, if I pop over to here, yes, you can see, and as soon as I stop playing the game, which I've exited out, it's only minimized, it starts dropping down again. So we've got a maximum 100 running sentiments, which it would have continued to climb, I'm sure. And it'll drop down again. And it should get down to roughly 45 degrees. We, I will, will start replacing this cooler. Alright, see you in a sec. Okay, as you can see, we are back up and running and everything's working. I also have all of my hard drives popped back up. This is good. Um, it looks pretty dope. All I've got left to do is pop the side panel back on and see what it looks like. Putting it back on, and just touched it at the top here. Just touched it, but it sort of moved it slightly, but it moved back. Um, not personally ideal, but I am going to upgrade my case one day because <laughs> it's getting a bit small. Um, I have got some um, Corsair 140mm fans, which I bought by mistake 
instead of 120s um, and don't fit in there. So when I do get a slightly larger case, it everything should fit in there perfectly. But it is fitting there. It looks like it might just be touching just on that side when I pop the panel back in. Um, but everything's on. Batman's back in. And yeah, we're away. Beautiful. We are back up and running. And the next thing is to check what the difference is in the temperatures. So before we were playing gaming, it was around that sort of 70, high 60s, low 70s. And we we're idling around that sort of 45-ish, 46 degree mark. So we'll jump into that now and yeah, see how it performs. Okie dokie guys, I've been running, got it all running again, got the game, got Grand Theft Auto running again. We've got it up and around, uh, got it sort of running for a while. Flick over to the screen here, and we're running about 51 degrees at the moment in the game. Um, got an idle temperature of about 34 degrees, so that's a good 10 degree drop. It was about 40, mid 40s before. And we're running uh, just up 60, 60 odd degrees in the game earlier on. So let's pop into the game and we will play a bit more. Here we go. this because I didn't have the sound on when I was recording this so let's just flick it back forward here all right hang on back it rally all right as you can see here just pause the screen for a minute um, running the game we're running around sort of the high 40s to low 50s it was um, let's just go forward a bit and so I said the idle temperature so you can see here it got a maximum of about 60 degrees which was a lot lower than what it was before. We're sort of getting to the size 60s, 70s, and sort of currently running, you know, I was running in that sort of high 40s. Um, very happy with the idle temps. They've dropped from about 45, mid 40s, sort of 45, 46, 47 degrees Celsius, um, down to that sort of mid 30s. And so that's a brilliant, that's just that idle, you know, the computer's sitting there doing nothing. So that's very, very good and obviously we've dropped a lot here so let's fast forward here to what i do a cinebench run there we go here no 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 all right so do the cinebench run here and before we got 2424 score this is my score here down here and we'll get the run going 
and you can see here that the temperatures are nowhere near as high. They were getting up to the high 90s and you know, 100 degree mark. So we'll, we'll just give it a quick fast forward here to the end of the run. And I reckon that's about the end of the run there. So we're getting to the high 60s. So say it runs 70 degrees. There we go. Yeah, it's fin definitely finished. So pull, I'll pause it here for a sec. And we've also got a huge jump here. From 2,424, we've got a 300, nearly 300 points to 2,746. So that is a huge difference. I mean, that is just, I mean, I haven't changed any of the settings. We're still running, um, I mean, obviously yeah, I've got an AMD Ryzen 5 2600, six core processor, and all six cores are running at 3.9 gigahertz. Um, the V-Core voltage is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 1.35 volts, and uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 HyperX Fury, 3200 megahertz speed RAM, um, well that's um, and the motherboard is an AX370 gaming 3 so basically I am very happy with the results here and it is definitely worth investing in getting rid of that stock Ryzen caller which if you keep things at the stock setting with that Ryzen caller you know um, you'll be doing fine like my kids have got um, Ryzen 1, uh, my son's got a Ryzen 5 2400G with the inbuilt graphics and that is absolutely fine the way he runs the stock and my daughter's got their Ryzen 3 2200G and that runs stock so if you're running stock that's fine but you can see there's a huge performance boost you know from from this is the stock set now 2424 is my stock or maybe what I get here maybe I've got to be a little bit higher um, so this is you know stock um caller settings here going up you know i mean that was obviously still an overclock here um and you see well actually look at that's interesting there um looking at this one here is a comparison this wasn't mine this is uh the stock um stock setting 3.4 gigahertz it was higher than actually the overclock version with the stock um caller but obviously once i've overclocked it it dropped down got a sort of lost performance so that there you go, it's overclocking with a stock cooler is not a good idea. And it's gone but then I once I've replaced it with the um I've replaced it with the Cooler Master Hyper two one two LED turbo, it is popped up to two thousand seven hundred and forty six. So it's a big bigger performance improvement there on Cinebench. And at the same time, going back looking at these you know looking at the sort of high 60s in regards to playing video games when it was sort of getting that high 70s and with the um with it running um at idle we dropped a good 10 de degrees there so it's about 10 degrees over in the temperatures there but at the same time i mean this is actually sorry this is when the game this was actually running cinemench going back to the game was running even better like that was this is awesome big import big in no, I can't even speak big performance increase so at the end of the day this is definitely well worth it to do and I would recommend it and for uh, this is what I cost it cost of an Australian was it 89 dollars or 91 dollars or something like that Australian dollars for this cooler it is definitely worth it all right guys that's it for the video today so i hope this helps out and this is michael from tech and tactical have a good day guys see you later